The next thing I want to add to our material is some bump offset. Now bump offset allows us to give the illusion of actual depth in our material. In essence, it'll make these bricks kind of look like they're popping out at you. Now it requires two things. One is a bump offset material expression. That's easy, we can just create one. The second thing that is needed is a height map. Now a height map is not a normal map. If we expand the content browser and take a look at our normal map, the normal map is red, green, and blue information to designate the angle of surfaces on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis. A height map, on the other hand, is just black and white, such that white pixels are raised areas and black areas are depressions. Now, we already have a height map stored in the alpha channel of our normal map texture, as you may recall, so we're going to be making use of that. Let's open up our Bricks demo material, and let's create our bump offset expression. I'm going to right-click... Go down to Utility, and there's Bump Offset, so we'll create that, and it wants two things. It wants a coordinate, and it wants a height, and the height is waiting for that height map I mentioned before. Now, I also mentioned that the height map was stored in the alpha channel of our normal map texture. However, if we were to take the alpha channel and plug it in back here and loop everything back around, we would end up with a cycle that will make the material editor very unhappy. So what we're going to do is grab this texture sample and hit control C, control V and make a copy of it. Because you can do this just fine. Now we're going to take the alpha channel and plug that into height. The coordinates we're not going to worry too much about right now. Now if you take a look at the bump offset, it's got a couple of properties. It's got the height ratio and the reference plane. These allow you to control how far your pixels are going to seem to jump out, but we're not going to be messing with them for now. We'll just leave it at the default. Let's take the result of our bump offset and we'll begin by plugging it into the texture sample for our color. And now let's plug it into the texture sample for our normal as well. And now as we rotate around, we're starting to get the illusion that these bricks actually have an indentation around where the grout is. Which is very cool. Now, just as a matter of preference, I'm going to take our specular color and I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And bleed out some of its color as well. There we go. Now, it's just a rendering trick. It's just perturbing some pixels in just the right way. So at extreme angles, you can break the illusion, but overall it works really well, especially for things like walls. So let's put this inside of a comment block. So hold down Control and Alt, and let's grab both of these nodes. Right-click and choose New Comment, and we'll label this Bump Offset. Click OK. Let's apply this. Close out of Material Editor. Let's hit Control S over here in our Demo Materials package. I'll close out the Content Browser, and now if we take a look, as we start to view our wall from different angles, you can see how the bricks appear to kind of occlude so that like the lines of grout will get thinner when viewed from extreme angles. And a really nice way to look at this would be to grab this static mesh up here, then hold down the L key and drag with the left mouse button. Now, I'm going to drag in with right mouse. I'm still holding L, by the way. Drag in with right mouse. Drag down with middle mouse, which is my mouse wheel. And now I can rotate around the wall from all these different angles and really see how those bricks appear to just jump right out of the wall at you. So that's how we apply bump offset. That is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.